In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 24th of December, 2022. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We use the readings of the morning Mass. The first reading is taken from the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verses 1 to 5, verses 8 to 12, and verses 14 to 16. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 89. The response to the psalm is, I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 1 verses 67 to 79. I read from the first reading. Now, when King David dwelt in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies round about, the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Would you build me a house to dwell in? Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, that you should be prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, that they may dwell in their own place, and be disturbed no more. And violent men shall afflict them no more, as formerly, from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel. And I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you. Who shall come forth from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Greatness begets greatness. Greatness begets greatness. Dearly beloved of the Lord, today's first reading talks about King David and situates him within the context of his retirement after his great achievements and successes. David had done well, extremely well for himself and for Israel. He had conquered his enemies. He had made Israel great. He was then enjoying his well-deserved rest and retirement. But one thing was lacking, a successor. Of what use is a person's great achievements if there is no successor to continue in his line. 
all that will be lost. There is need for continuity. The Lord therefore sent the prophet Nathan to assure King David. He had done well. His name will not be forgotten. God will make his name great, that is, his name will forever be remembered like Abraham. But how? By his great deeds, yes, of course, but also someone was to continue his legacy. The Lord will make him a house, meaning his lineage will endure and an offspring of his from his house, from his loins will be raised after him, after his death. And David's house, his line, his kingdom will be made secure forever and his throne will be established forever. It is his house that will rule over Israel. His descendants from his house will be kings of Israel. God himself will raise up from David's line a successor. This prophecy in the first reading is fulfilled in the gospel. Jesus is the descendant of King David who rules over David's house forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. These are the words of Zechariah in the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Jesus shall rule over Jacob's house forever. He will rule over the house of David forever. Luke chapter 1 verse 33. It was a prophecy that worried about securing the future. The question to ask is, who will rule over your house when you too are retired or gone? How secured is the future of your house, its continuation? Do you think about the continuity of your family? Do you worry about the future? David had done well, and God assured him of raising up a descendant of his. Beloved of God, you should be preparing who will rule over your house by working hard. Have you such a great reputation like David, for which God should assure you he will choose and raise up an heir for you? No one becomes an heir to nothing. David had worked hard. He had made a name, a reputation, and a legacy for himself, and God assured him that he will raise a descendant of his who will continue his legacy and make his kingdom last forever. God, too, wants to make out of your house a great people. But it begins by you, first of all, making yourself a great person. David was great. He achieved greatness, and out of his house, a king was chosen to reign forever. Can God take delight in your house to make out of you a great nation? This challenge therefore falls on us. If your tomorrow will be great, it depends on how well you live your today. David was enjoying a good future because he had worked very hard for himself and for Israel in the past. Do not live your today in such a useless way that nothing will be there to talk about you or make recourse to tomorrow. When you have a great legacy, God will surely raise up someone from your house to secure it. Greatness begets greatness, and that is the challenge of today. What are you doing for yourself today that tomorrow such a great legacy will be left for your memory and for someone after you to continue the line and to keep it? Let us pray for that grace that like King David, we may work hard today so that we have a legacy that will be kept tomorrow and for generations to come after us to continue that legacy. Let us pray for that grace today and always. Amen.
the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.